If an attack includes a diagram of red hexes, it's considered to be an area of effect attack, or AOE for short. The red hexes will be targeted by the attack, and the yellow hex indicates the position of the attacker. Unless stated otherwise, AOE attacks affect all characters, whether friend or foe. In this example, the exile plays his Reap ability card, which includes an AOE attack. He can choose which direction to face before attacking, but if he faces north to target both minions, then the attack will also target the ranger. If no yellow hex is shown to indicate the attacker's position, then the centre hex must be within range and line of sight of the attacker. In this example, the priest would like to perform an AOE attack with a range of 3, but he's unable to target even a single enemy from this position. The minions on the left are out of range, and on the right, the centre hex of the AOE attack must be within the priest's line of sight. So he'll need to move to a better position if he wants to perform this AOE attack. A cone attack is a type of AOE attack which spreads out from the attacker in a 120 degree arc, like this. Cone attacks are unaffected by line of sight. Finally, note that AOE attacks cannot target more than one hit point die on a large enemy. In this example, the Kerr performs an AOE attack which covers four hexes of a large enemy. This makes the attack a little bit more powerful, with one additional point of damage for each extra hex included in the attack, beyond the first. In this case, that means plus three damage. If the attack causes the enemy to lose any hit points, then they'll come from the body location closest to the attacker, in this case, the left flank. You'll find more area of effect examples in Appendix 2 of the Encounter Rulebook.